Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a video. I know there's hundreds of videos of jelly prints, but I'm doing it for my dear friend Ginny from Australia, Virginia. And um, I'm going to show her what I use as, I'm going to be using stencils as well too. And I might be doing a crusty bits pull at the end. Um, I'll show you the ones that I did. There's something hanging here. Okay, let's see what it is. Let's get rid of this tag. I hang things in front of the camera. Okay. One time I, I recorded something. The whole thing was recorded with something in front of it. I can't remember what it was, a box. So I'm going to show her what I have in my homemade box. My, my stuff that, you know, I grab from, I see beautiful textures and I just grab them and these I got I got so many of these um, I actually have them outside because I do want to give them a good wash because I recently cleaned a big cupboard outside where they had a whole bunch of these my kids and you know there's some missing because sometimes dogs will come and take our shoes and or they break them naturally and um, or I just find one because some because one of them disappeared and so, yeah, I have to wash them down so that way I can bring them over here and use them as texture. So flip-flops are a great idea. Um, apparently there you can even go to a dollar store and grab flip-flops. Look on the back. This was from a package of um, a prosciutto. Yeah, I bought cold cuts in here and they put it in these little, little things and I cut the bottom out. And you know what I did to this is I actually put some white glue over it to make it more sturdy because it was really soft before. So that's something that you can, you know, use. Um, this, I don't know, I think this was a piece from the fish tank, but it's really cool. It makes a really cool thing. This one here, this is from, this makes a real cool texture thing too. This is from, what do you call those? Um... My husband often buys big, huge jars of olives or or mushrooms under, they're done under oil or, or under vinegar. And so this is what's on top of it. So my thing is that you can probably go to a deli shop or an Italian shop and, you know, the, the, they probably sell them and they have them in the big jars. You can probably ask them to save these because it's really cool textures. I actually have... Another one here someplace back there. Okay, then the normal tops from bottles. And, you know, from this is from the, um, actually, there's still even some tape here. I think this is what the plumbers use. And that makes a real cool, cool texture as well, too. So you really don't have to, I have hundreds of stencils, actually. You know, I, I have so many stencils. And they make beautiful prints. They do. But, you know, you can make beautiful prints with your stuff in, at home, too. This is from the medication thing. Um, this is the bottom of a glass jug. It was in this plastic thing, and the plastic thing had ripped, so I took the, bot the bottom off of it. This is from my um, vacuum cleaner. There's some hairs, dog hairs. This is from my vacuum cleaner, and this is the filter inside the vacuum cleaner. It's a Lux. And this I have to change every two years. So I, when I changed it the last time I looked at it and I said, that's, you know, pretty cool for thing. This is the top of a candle. We have these big, huge candles that we use for um, the Day of the Dead here. And, um, and this is the top of it, which is really cool as a texture thing too. Your tape. Um, what else is in here? That This little box here that I'm going to use for um, a rectangle shape texture. This is from my hanging horse where I hang my clothes, the wheel that came off, and um, I use that as well too. Um, okay, there's there's other junk in here that really doesn't. Uh, okay, so apart that, you guys are much more advantaged than me because you have those beautiful dollar stores where you can get rubber stamps and things like that for you know the foam stamps from kids. Another thing that I love to use, and they're not very expensive either, are these texture plates. They're actually for um, for sweets for, to, to do um, fondant on it. So, and these I found, I found them pretty ex inexpensive for what, you know, instead of buying a stencil or things like that, I found them pretty ex inexpensive. 
and I went to a specialty shop and they had four I think for every pack so I have I think I have 12 of these because I bought three packs and, and they weren't that expensive and they were so nice as well too naturally it gives you it's different than than a stencil using a stencil so um, I'll be showing that to you as well too and then we have the famous plastic wrap too where I got this rectangle that really makes a cool um, thing too so I'm going to be doing this video for Ginny. There's rollers that you can buy at the Chinese stores. There's um, things like this that you can buy at the Chinese store as well too. Um, that's what we have here. We have Chinese stores where I can find a lot of stuff that's very inexpensive and, you know, fun stuff. I'm always keeping my eyes open for texture stuff in supermarkets and things like that. So the reason why I am doing this video as well too is um, I had to do jelly I had to do jelly prints, and the reason being is because I have to do this album now for a girl. So every page will be decorated with a jelly print naturally, and um, and then you know I'll um, you know doodle on them and everything. And she gave me the pictures as well too to do them. So this is going to be um, something that I'm going to be working on in the future. As soon as I have you know a good amount of jelly prints done. I will be um, starting this album. I haven't up until June. Well, let's say May because I would like to give it to her before. Apparently she's getting married in June. So yeah, the girls want to give them. It's a gift that her friends are doing for her. She, she knows nothing about it. And then there was something else that I wanted to show you as for texture, but I'm not seeing it right now. Um, I'll show you what I was working on this morning before I opened up the camera. These were just, this is a crusty bit pull, which they're not really working out that well for me. And in fact, these are three of them that I continuously put paint on because it wasn't pulling that well, but they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I really, really like them. And um, I'm not sure though that I can use deli paper in that album because what I do well maybe I can maybe I can because I stick the papers down with um, double sided tape I don't use glue in the album because I don't want the paper to warp or anything so I've been sticking the paper down in the past you know when I've been doing other albums I've been sticking them down with double sided tape so I'm not sure well you know what today I'm going to use some deli paper because I've um I wanted to to do that so I have I have lots of paper but I wanted to and I'm noticing this album is bigger than my usual uh, the albums that I had worked on in the past so I just want to see here one page of these these are the pages that I usually work with you see it's even smaller let me see here just a second yeah it's not even going to reach here a whole page like this but you know what that's okay because I'm gonna work with this I'll you know I'll make it better I'll put you know maybe some tape here or some borders that I've made in the past things like that that's not a problem I don't have to put one whole sheet on either I can put different sheets on I can put text on I can put I can do whatever I want so these are other prints that I was just working on as well too um, this is when I say as well you guys can get you know those nice beautiful foam stamps that you can add on after as well too and, and they make beautiful prints you don't have to leave a print at that like this this was a print that i had made i had made the base color and then i go over it again um you can go over the prints as much as many times as you want but here i just ran a stencil with some paint on it you know so it, and this is still you know i can go over this i can go over all of them actually so what I have here is my famous little, you know, book that I showed in the other thing. And I'm starting here in the back to, um, you know, rub off some paint. And this is how those pages, you know, would start. Right? Just rolling off the brayer in, in, in a little book. And, you know, it makes a page look so colorful. And then you can work on top of that. So I have my brayer ready. I have my tools. I have, where's the paper? I need the paper first of all. But I have the paper here and I will be hanging. Um, 
you guys, I will be doing, let me see if I can get to it here. Oh, next video I will do, and I promised Annie I would show her how I did this envelope here. I showed it in some previous videos, but yeah, I'm oh, sure. I can't do this design here on mine because I lent it to my sister, but that doesn't matter because I can do, you know, another design on it. So let's get started. I have a coffee here. That's kind of strange for me because I usually, um, I'll have my morning coffee and that's it. I used to be a big dr coffee drinker, but I didn't do it on purpose. I just started, you know, not cutting down on coffee. And, and here it's espresso that I drink, so pretty strong stuff. In fact, my coffee is made in a mocha um, thing. I don't have a coffee pot. There's something on my bread that's leaving. Mm -hmm. See? The, yeah. Okay, well, I'll get that off now. Let me see here. Get a baby wipe and clean it off with that because it's going to drive me nuts. Okay. I'll get that off the side and I'm going to start with some round stuff now you're gonna need to clean off the paint when you use things like this because it's not going to pull going to do another kind of size of um okay get this right here oh dear see I'm rubbing it off here on the side on my, one on my little book where I'm already um cleaning off the brayer and it adds some texture and I'll show it to you on the page as well too okay so here I'm ready and get the deli paper I do love using deli paper it's um I love the transparency of you know using deli paper on on uh, some projects it's really nice you can see what's underneath Just give it a good rub down and I did put too much paint on this one so less paint there's one okay I'm just gonna get I might get something here that I've already done to like that one that one's too similar for a color. I'll use this one here, see? Yeah, I got my jelly plate I have to clean up and I'm going and I want to do, you know, all my stencils in the jelly plate because I just bring it beside the sink and um, just, you know, with the sponge, a nice soapy sponge and start cleaning it until you know all the paint um, crusty paints come off okay really like that one see that okay and by the way I'm using deco art paints most of my deco art paints I'm going to do one with um, with glimmer paints are they metallic acrylic paints and this is a teal and this is silver sage and these two colors eh, together are amazing now the girl told me that she really likes red so I'm going to work on I'm not going to use red throughout the album naturally but um, I will be doing the cover and which I will be doing at the end so because um, I learned my lesson I I did two albums previously and I went and did the cover first 
and that was a bad idea because opening and closing the the book you know to do the pages was causing the cover to kind of crack where the seam was so I kind of um, I said to myself that I'm not going to do that anymore that I'm going to do the inside of the book first and then Now here I still have, you know, you can still see the pull that you did before, and that might come off. That might come off of, um, on your print now. Um, what can I use here? I'm going to hang this. It's really wet. That way I can get out of the way. I have some little things here to hang up. Actually, I use um, these little, see if I can see that, if I can put it in the, I don't want to pull it too hard. Oh, yeah, I can pull it here. There we go. These are what I use on, for curtains, what they use here for curtains. So I bought a pack of that, and I'm using it to hang my papers here. Okay, what can I use here now? I'm going to use this. This makes a really cool design. You just have to kind of, um, the, the plastic kind of warped a bit, so you have to, with your fingers, make sure you make a good imprint on it, and lift. And do that. You know what I'm going to try to do with the brayer, without, okay, well you might want to clean that off. Another one up here, one right here, your hands get dirty when you're jelly printing, that's for sure, and if you don't want that you can always use gloves, or I noticed that people have creams there that will, um, you know, not your hands will get dirty, but then when you wash your hands, it comes all off. get another clean sheet of jelly paper and I want to show you with the texture plates how nice they come out too but you could I could say that my favorite pulls are done with the plastic bubble wrap I love those out. There we go. And that's another one. It's kind of shiny, isn't it? So you can't really see the design or can you? There, I kind of turned it over like that. Okay, now here's the thing that I've noticed. When you have too much, you don't know what to use. Like I have so many colors because like I said, I have all the deco art products. And oh, um, by the way, with the deco art products. Now I have done two courses up until now, but in May, um, let's try a nice dark color. In May, a friend of mine that owns, um, it would be, yeah, a restaurant. And plus, you know, they have, a a big thing of doing um, you know a lot of night things in the summer up there and they have a big huge museum up there um, I'm gonna put some of this in a big huge museum and um, and it's, it's done so pretty because they have like a whole wall that um, that's done like little caves and when you go up to do shows there because they do shows and everything you know you get one of these little things that you're it's like you're in a little cave and they have a whole bunch of these where people you know go up there and do shows i actually have never gone up to do shows what i did in the past was help her out with kids once upon a time we were baking and she wants me to do the same thing again she wants me this time you know to um, show them and i told her i said well i have to do courses 
and you know to for decor and things like that so i'm going to um be doing that i think she said it's going to be starting in the month of june i'm going to be using the shoe the shoe the flip-flop so what i do is just make a nice imprint see that and i'm going to turn it over on this side here there we go yeah, so I will be doing that. Um, she's organizing a whole bunch of things. My sister's participating as well, too. So we're kind of, you know, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the kids yet. It's going to be paint related, of course. Um, yeah. Okay. And um, But I'm still not sure if anybody has suggestions on... On doing this um, I think the ages are going to be from six or seven years old and up you know to 12 14 so and I'm really looking forward to it because there's because as always when you're doing these fairs and everything you get to meet a whole bunch of people and things like that and plus you know um, with the kids I have a ball with the kids as well too you know it's so so much fun to see children um, doing art you know their they, their way of expressing themselves and things like that and it's it's really 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 cool I, I really like you know you're you're sometimes I used to tell like my kids oh no don't do that color it's not going to be nice with the other but I've learned to be quiet and let them do what they want to do like I was trying to always give suggestions to my kids where naturally I was doing wrong to let them express themselves and you know because I was seeing uh, they were probably using um, a color that I would never have used with another color so and this is the way this one came out and naturally if you don't like them you can just go right over them is there too much glare can you see that that's a really cool print as well too hang this one up Oh, why isn't this one opening broken? Okay. You're going to be chucked. There we go. And I'm going to use, I'm going to put this away here and get, there we go. I've done, oh, this is a real cool one too. This was something that my kids were playing with once upon a time. And that's real cool to use for texture as well too these are the things that you know that i buy for the thing. and this is another thing that i've been wanting to use i have another couple of these and i've been saving them because i want to um add them add at least another one down here i'll tape it together so that way i have a full sheet i'm going to put that aside It's so nice to be alone at home. Everybody's out. So these are the way they look. This is one of my favorites here. And not only you get four of them, but you actually have eight sides because you have this side and this side. So, you know, you can pick and choose, which is really cool. And colors of paint. You see, I told you, when you have too much, you don't know what to pick anymore. You don't know... I, I just it's just too much it really is too much um what colors i've been using yellows and blues and pinks and how about a, mm, greens no i did greens um that was kind of purple though it wasn't actually really pink so i'll do this one here Yeah, so I've been kind of keeping myself busy with art again. I'm getting slowly back into the mood, which is really nice. And I have to get into the mood anyways because I have to do this um, album for this girl. I want to I wanna work on it slowly where I can decorate the pages on the inside. And the last time I did one, it, my friend, she gave it to me at the last minute. And, like, I had to really hurry up and do it. So I couldn't really, um, you know, lose my time on... on doing the pages on the inside and things like that pretty color 
Now I'm thinking, I'm going to mix yellow with this. Yeah, so it's nice to be alone in the house. Even my, my daughter-in-law went. My daughter-in-law. It's, um, my daughter-in-law has, she, her mom, kind of, you know, you could say, she abandoned them almost six years ago. And my daughter-in-law had to take care of her little sister, who was seven years old at the time. And, um, so my daughter-in-law had to learn quickly on how to take care of a family and um, and that's what she does. So she she doesn't go up every day to her dad's but she goes up um, every other day and you know she'll cook things for them, she'll make sure the laundry is done. So this poor kid, you know, not only she just got married but she always has the responsibilities of, you know, her her house where, you know, naturally I would be doing the same thing exactly what she's doing. I wouldn't be able to abandon my family, you know, just because I got married. And, you know, she's trying to teach her little sister, you know, how to do things and everything. Her little sister is only 15. And she, she even has a part-time job working. She's, you know, going to school and everything. And in the meantime, she's trying to learn as well too, um, what, how to do what, what my daughter-in-law was doing but you know, naturally she's still a kid like you can't expect that poor kid to take on a responsibility like that like I feel terrible for her and her sister is the same way too like she said she's just a kid like I can't expect her to take on a family my my daughter-in-law was older when her mother left so um, she already knew how to do everything she has kind of spoiled her little sister just a bit as well too like I can understand her I would have done the same like everything she's doing I would have done the exact same thing I understand her totally and um, yeah so she went to her dad's and she's cooking for them um, so that way tomorrow they already have lunch ready because apparently her and my son are going to the big city and um, they're gonna do some shopping which is about almost two hours away well, that's cool. See, from a print that I'm that I wasn't liking, it's starting to come out nice. Hang up this one. Yeah. So let me see how long I've been on for. Oh, Twenty-seven minutes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm gonna do the crusty bit one. Yeah, I'm gonna do one. Okay, there's a the thing though. I'm going to change this time because I was just watching her video and I was talking about it the other day in my in my um, other video when I was showing this journal. I showed you this page here that was crusty bits. Just a second, let me find it. Where are you? I guess it's in the front here. There, this one here. But this one came out really cool. I really like the way this one came out. Now, I was just watching. It's Journal Artista, and um, somebody actually told me to on the video her name because I couldn't remember it that day. And there was even, um, oh dear, there you go. Okay, I forgot her name again. Deb, 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 something. Deb Ebbs, I think. She did another video on Krusty Ebbs too, uh, Krusty polls as well too. So. She has been doing it with black. We're going to try in this video. I want to do the base white. Now, like I said, mine aren't coming out all that great, but I do want to try. So am I going to pull this away? No, I'm not going to pull what's there already away. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so she is kind of it was a bad situation for them you know and and like she's they're still suffering like it's terrible when a mom just picks up and leaves like that especially when you leave a small child like the my daughter-in-law like i said she was older but um her sister was you know still a kid she wanted her mom 
And um, yeah, I could say that my daughter-in-law knows how to do everything. Everything. Which is nice when you, you know, you're off on your own. And um, not that you have to know everything at all. But it is nice when you're off on your own and you already know how to do these things. My other daughter-in-law daughter instead, she's much younger. Um, she's been on her own as well too, so she knows pretty much how to do everything. Okay, so what am I going to do? This time I'm going to be using stencils, you guys. So I'm going to get a stencil here. And... Which one should I pick out? I'm going to pick out this one here. Or no. I'm going to pick out this one. Okay. This is a stencil from, I can't remember. I think it's DecoArt. And I'm going to put it here. Okay. And I'm going to use um, some deli paper. Let's see here. I'm going to use this one here. Okay, to pull this paint. Let me see how my battery is doing. That's fine. Long video, you guys. It's been a while since I did a long video. A long time ago. I'm always trying to do them shorter. And there's something about me that I start getting really antsy in videos that, you know, I'm scared that it's going to be too long and that it's not going to load and that you guys are going to get bored and you know so I'm always and I forget to say a lot of things that I was supposed to say in a video and and I, I feel terrible like even if I had to mention somebody or you know like the other day when I mentioned the Facebook groups there were so many Facebook groups that I did not mention and I felt terrible I felt really terrible but like I said there's I, I'm, I'm joined to too many Facebook groups and I'm not participating in most of them and you know and I feel terrible um, that you know like I, I don't even go on there because there's too many I don't even go on their pages and look what you know you get in the no notifications so um, yeah which what do you do I don't know am I going to not subscribe okay to you know okay so that's a really cool pull. Isn't that cool? This is going to be a beautiful page in that album. So, let me see what she did. I think, I think, I think I still have too much here to pull. Or did she take it off and then pull some more? Let me see. That's where I got confused. And I just watched her again because I wanted to make sure. I've watched the same video about four times. Just a bit like that. Okay. Now, I'm sorry about the noise. This is a dryer that I don't have the cold on here setting. But the first setting is like a warm. It's not going to do anything to the, um, the jelly plate. And this is where she said that you have to have patience. You have to make sure they're thoroughly dry. So that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that they're thoroughly dry. Because, like I said, mine, I don't know, it wasn't really pulling that well. And then, I love the way she does them with the black. Because she always uses the black as, a, as you know, her base print. But I did want to try it with white and see what would happen. And it's not hot enough to do anything to the... Now if I turn it on the second one, yeah, it goes too hot. Dry. 
right here now. Yeah, you have to make sure that it's dry, you guys. Okay, now the second, excuse me, the second color. Will I use something that glimmers? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so I have, oh dear, let me see here. Oh, I have this beautiful gray, but it's not. Just a second. I have the gray that's shimmery. This one here. Okay. It's kind of dirty here, you guys. It's um, oh, PBO's Dyna. This has, you know, the... Um, itch. It's um, like a metallic paint, I guess you would call it. Okay, so, and then she talks about not putting too much paint as well, too. What What was that? Hey, oh, Rosario, you scared me. Devin Trare. Okay, just yeah. sorry, you guys. It was open. Okay, so, and then she was talking about not putting too much paint to, you know, have thin layers of paint for the reason, I think, of, as well, drying time. So I'm going to put a thin layer of paint and I'm going to do another pull on this. Okay. Now, let's see what to use next. Put these two away. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this one here. Okay, there we go. This is a, this is from Decoart as well too. And I will use, oh, this one here. This will look cool. See this? That's going to look really cool. hands. There we go. Okay. Give it a good rub. Make sure you're getting all the in the in the little crevices, especially when they're like detailed like that. You think you've rubbed well, and instead when you pull, you notice all the places that you missed. And for me, I think using your hands are the best thing. Okay, I'm going to pull this one. Yeah, that's really cool too. Pull that. And this needs to be dried as well, too. Now, she was talking about, you know, if you want to pull off more paint, you can. To decide now what I want to use after this, I think I'm going to go for, i use used white, this gray. I think I'm going to go for a turquoise color now. So what what I'm going to put on the last one will be on the bottom. It should be on the bottom if the pull works. you guys check her out journal artista she does their long videos um she does some live i 
can never catch these things live because of my time difference. From, um, you know, if you guys are going to do uh, a live show at night, I'm sleeping by then. Or I can catch the ones that they do in early afternoon, which for me is night. Like if they're doing a show at 2 o'clock, here it's already 8 o'clock. So it's a time as well too that, um, you know, I'm probably in the kitchen getting things ready um, for dinner. And I would love to participate. So, but it doesn't matter. If I can't participate, I watch the recordings after. like it's perfectly dry okay oh uh, fingers crossed you guys fingers crossed I'm wondering I'm, I'm looking at this color that's really pretty and it would go nice with the gray and the white this is whisper R whispering turquoise by deco art yeah now remembering thin layers You can always add, but you can't, well, you can't take away. Of course you can take away, too. Just run your brayer over it. You just need a little touch more. Right here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that was my son. He, I took the key off of the door. So here we're in a place that I keep the, the key on the door all the time. So that way, um, you know, my kids can come in and out and they don't have to knock and things like that. And I don't have to run to answer the door. And this morning, because I was alone, I took the key off, you know. And so he came here around the back because he couldn't get into the house to come in. Okay, so this layer does not have to dry. You pull it right away. Okay, you guys, wish me luck. I really want this to work out a lot. Okay. There we go. And take your time to... You know what? Wow. It's dry. Okay. I'm going to put some more paint on here. Maybe I didn't have enough. You guys, it's, you really have to play around with this type of crusty bits. Like I said, watch her videos because she explains it so well. It's just, I think, um, you kind of have to practice on your own too. Maybe my paint was too much of a thin layer. Okay, let me try this again. I I doubt that it's going to pick up. I don't know why. I don't know why. She says to make sure that the other layers are thoroughly dry. So, and I did that. Yeah, it's not going to pick up. I know it's not going to pick up. Oh, well. Whatever it does pick up, it's always going to be a nice print. And I can see why she uses black. You can't even see the white on this. Look at that. There we go. My son's being a... Uh, yeah. Well, it did. It is a beautiful print. 
it is a really nice print that you know I can work on more as well too I'll probably go over this one again because it is so the white didn't pick up at all I don't know what happened so yeah I'm going to try just to clean up print here now running out of white and um, see what I can pick up from here this is an Italian brand paint which you know has made beautiful prints as well too I'm wondering if you mix different brands of paint if it could make the difference I'm not sure here I put three different brands of paint actually oh dear there goes my book <laughs> yep okay kind of painted my hand and we're going to pull another print and then we're going to close the video so I can put you guys out of your misery if you've been lasting this long with me so yeah the next video I will be doing that envelope I want to show Anne Marie how I did it very easy and I got the idea from um, from an invitation a wedding invitation that I got from my niece okay not much at all but that's okay I'm gonna pull another one here Oh, well, that's looking nice. There we go. And you think I could pull another one? We'll try. These are the ones that I did before. There we go. So, Ginny, I hope you like this. I hope um, I taught you something to, you know... There's, like I said, there's hundreds of videos, so I don't really think I taught you anything, but um, I always have fun doing jelly prints. I love doing jelly prints, and like I could spend hours on doing, I'll continue now, I'll close the video and continue doing them, also because I need them now, so, and I'm going to be doing them on regular paper. Actually, I have an old school book of my kids here that I'm going to be using as well, the pages, so that way I can... Um, that way I can use up that paper as well too so I hope you guys all enjoyed this um, and I hope I didn't bore you <laughs> and everybody have a great day till the next time goodbye